Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about uh, my uh, itinerary, my experiences and my learnings from my recent visit to Sarnath. Uh, I recently visited Sarnath last week, uh, that is in late September 2023. So, I am sharing uh, how I visited the place uh, and what are my experiences and what are my learnings. So, my intention of making this video is that, see, I was totally unprepared when I went there. I had, had done some basic reading about the place and everything. But uh, more or less, I was unprepared and I uh, traveled solo. Now, I see a lot of foreigners, a lot of people out of India who, who uh, are uh, interested in Buddhism and who come to visit this place. For them, it's even more difficult because it's a new place for them. So, if my only purpose is that if it helps one, even one person get the right, uh, you know, uh, some, some help with respect to their travel plan. So, uh, that I will consider myself fortunate. So, I will start. Okay, so I've just made a list of some points so that I don't digress. Uh, so, what is Sarnath? Sarnath is uh, the place where once after the Buddha got the enlightenment in uh, Bodh Gaya, in Bihar, he, that's, Sarnath is the place where he gave the first discourse, first discourse, first discourse uh, to the five disciples, right? So, this is the place where the first discourse was given and why this place holds so much importance is because this is one of the four places where Buddha says that you should uh, visit uh, uh, in, in your life. Right? If you follow Buddhism, then you should visit in your life. So, first is Bodh Gaya, second is Sarnath, third is Khushinagar, where uh, he, Buddha got Parinirvan, and fourth is Lumbini, which is now in Nepal, where Buddha got the birth. So, these four places, every Buddhist must visit. Right. So, uh, why I went to Sarnath is, uh, so I live in uh, Indore right now. Uh, which is in Madhya Pradesh and uh, why I got to, why I got that, uh, why I visited Sarnath is basically I got a very strong desire and urge. So, I do Akashic Records work and I got a very strong urge like two years back uh, in my one of the readings where uh, uh, from my masters I got this strong, uh, you know, uh, 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 instruction to visit Sarnath because this is connected with my sole purpose in this lifetime. Uh, to spread about Buddha's teachings and my masters gave me the guidance is that I will get the necessary spiritual energy. See, because what these places do is that they have a lot of spiritual energy, these holy places. So, when you visit there, you get the spiritual energy for the, the soul mission that you have in this particular lifetime. So, like two, two years back, I got this guidance and, you know, I was like dilly-dallying and everything and, you know, finally I made up my mind that since I have to do lot of work going forward on Buddha teachings uh, and which you will see on this channel that I will do, uh, I must visit this place once. And so, I something somewhere some things happened, uh, my family supported and my family is always so supportive. Uh, my in-laws just came to my place, so they took care and so that I can go on a solo trip, right? My uh, children's exams were there, so they took care, my wife and everyone and tickets got arranged, everything got arranged. So, if you have, you know, the right thing inside here, then everything gets arranged outside, right? So, so thanks uh, to all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and all my masters that I finally made it to Sarnath, right? So, so what I did was I traveled between September 28 to October 1. So, there was like three days I, I kept in mind, three days uh, uh, for, for my travel to Sarnath. Actually, if you see Sarnath can be done in one day also, Right, uh, but I wanted to soak into the energy of that place. And one more thing was that the, the return train, uh, uh, my return, uh, the train from which I had to return, was available only on Sunday. So there was three days gap, three days that period that was available. Right, so uh, I planned accordingly. Uh, so first I landed in Varanasi. Actually, because of some train problem, I even didn't land in Varanasi. I landed in some uh, Sultanpur station, and then I had to travel to Varanasi. So that was a diff diff different thing altogether. But basically, you land up in Varanasi. Varanasi has a train station. It has three, four, five train stations and uh, airport is also there. And from Varanasi, you get uh, autos. You get autos to Sarnath. Generally, you don't get buses. Uh, you get uh, autos uh, to the Sar Sarnath. You can, uh, it costs some 200 rupees uh, from Sarnath to, uh, from Varanasi to Sarnath, you will get an auto, right? Okay. So, what I did, I will just briefly cover it. 
day one, which is the Thursday that I uh, landed. So the because of some problems in my um, in you know when I came to Varanasi, uh, I could not land there. So I landed at Sultanpur. Then I took another train to Varanasi. It took a lot of time. So by the time I reached, it was late afternoon, and I was dead tired. Right. So when I came, it, I was just uh, I had booked an accommodation in a guest house. So I just slept. Right. And I woke up with lot of pain in my head in the evening. But I said, at least let me not waste this day. So I just the nearest thing was the Sarna Temple. So I went to Sarna Temple. I visited the temple. I remember when it was around six o'clock. They said that temple is closed. But uh, they said, where you have you've come? I said, I came from Indore. So they said, okay, we will let you in. Uh, you have come from so far. We will let you in. So I went there, did the darshan. There was no one else in the Sarna Temple at that time. And I, when I saw Buddha's uh, uh, the 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 image, I actually just I started crying only. And just you know, I was so overwhelmed seeing Buddha's image. I just cried. I was so tired. My head was paining and everything. So it was very di different. right it was so peaceful so that was the only place then i had to come come out because then you know the temple was was closing 6 pm the temple closes the sarnath temple closes then in the evening because they it was so hot actually when i went there september end there there so it was very hot in india at that time at that place so uh, and the place that i got booked my accommodation that was a non ac Uh, accommodation that I had booked, which was a mistake from my end. So then I I searched. I went to the Tibetan monastery, right? Just I I was just going and I just entered the monastery and I just checked with the uh, the lama there and uh, I said check for the accommodation. He said yes, accommodation is available, AC accommodation is available. So it is available at a very cheap rate as compared to a normal uh, tourist uh, hotel. You see, it was around two thousand uh, per night. So here in the Tibetan monastery, it was available for me to for one thousand per night. so immediately what i did was from that guest house where i was staying i shifted myself to the tibetan monastery because i wanted to get a good peaceful sleep at night so i shifted so uh, i got a peaceful sleep at night and day 2 which is friday when i started i uh, 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 first i uh, uh, checked into the uh, first i uh, visited the dhamek stoop the archaeological remains of uh, uh, sarnath so there you get an entry uh, now there are two ways to do it one is the 20 rupees ticket which is only for seeing the dhamek soup and the archaeological remains second is option is a jumbo ticket that you can get which is 25 rupees where 5 rupees is for the museum right if you want to see the museum the same day now because i went on friday which is uh, which is a uh, where museum is closed on friday so i only had to take the 20 rupees ticket and go into the archaeological uh, the remains that place the mek stoop right so and you have to pay online there is a scanner that is available uh, at the entry gate and you can pay through one of the payment modes which are available so you can pay i don't know how uh, for a foreigner it will be uh, uh, available but they will guide there the 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 people the watchmen who are there at the gate they will guide you right so you have to pay online and then you get an entry there are two two tickets the the entry is for either the forenoon or the afternoon right so uh, so either the first half or the second half so if you want to come out for the second half you need to again pay 20 rupees so that's a reason, normal very small small sum so that's fine so 8 o'clock it opens the 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 archaeological uh, place uh, uh, the remains that stoop that opens at 8 o'clock in the morning so uh, i entered and i visited the place beautiful place there is the where, where the the remains were found where uh, the mek stoop was there where the there were several monasteries there was this place where buddha's relics were there there was this place where you know buddha used to do the meditation right so it's a very very peaceful place and see what when you visit such places you just need to soak in the energy right rather than clicking photos and all so definitely you click photos i also did but better you know be mindful and let the energy let yourself soak in the, in that particular energy right uh, uh, don't be mindless right this is buddha's place right so we have to follow the buddha's teaching at the core so when we walk we walk, we walk mindfully in sarnath when we eat we eat mindfully in sarnath right that's a holy place right so okay so i did uh, uh, and i meditated at that uh, place uh, and then uh, so that was like uh, i think one or two hours that i spent there then i uh, uh, visited the monasteries so near that archaeological uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, remains the plat place. There is the Thai uh, Thai monastery that is there, where it has, it has a 80 foot tall uh, Buddha statue. So it's just the Buddha statue. You just visit there, and it's nothing much. Then there is a uh, 200 meters far from that place. This is the Burmese temple. So Burmese temple actually there is no no point of visiting because you no know, there is no one there. There is a just the the Buddha statue that is there, but there is no one to you know. It's mostly closed. Only the the bhantes bhantes are monks. They live there and they study there. So there is nothing to visit. You can skip that Burmese temple thing, right? And then you can check with the other monasteries. You can come. Then I came back to the Sarna temple, which I visited yesterday. I came again, visited the Sarna temple. Then I visited in much more detail. Then uh, besides that Sarna temple is the, in the Sarna temple is a beautiful thing. So what I'll do this video is that I will split it into one is this my itinerary. Second, second is the learnings. And that is a very important video. Don't miss that video, right? So I will split it into two because this is becoming like it's 11 minutes now, right? So the second day that I did was, uh, yeah, uh, so so second day, uh, archaeological museum, then the Thai, uh, Thai temple, then I visited the, uh, I came back to the Sarna temple, I explored it very well in terms of, if you see in the Sarna temple, uh, there are a lot of uh, art that is there in that temple, you know, right from the birth of the Buddha to I'll make another video on Sarnath in pictures where I will try to capture, I will show you in the how in the pictures how it is, right? The entire journey of Buddha's life is covered in pictures. Beautiful place, right? There, if you want to take pictures, you need to make a donation of 20 rupees, I think 20, 25 rupees. Better I will say is whether you want to click pictures or not, you definitely must give a donation of at least 100 rupees or whatever you feel like uh, to this place. There is a donation box that is there. So you, please do donate. Right? Then, besides that particular temple is the place where actually the Buddha gave the first sermon. And there you can see an image of Buddha with all the five disciples and, and, and Buddha giving the sermon. And there the, the, the first Dhamma, Dhamma, Dhamma Chakka Pavatana Sutra. Right? This is the Dhamma Chakka Pavatana Sutra, the first sermon, the first discourse, which is Buddha gave the discourse about the Four Noble Truths and the Noble Eightfold Path. So that whole discourse is given in Pali and in English. So when I visited there, I actually uh, uttered, I myself spoke the, uh, the I, I was standing and I spoke the whole sutra in English. So you can also do that, right? So it was a fascinating experience and there are all the, you know, there are many Buddhas. There is not one Buddha. Buddha this Buddha, the Shakyamuni Buddha is of our time. There are many other Buddhas and it was, and one more thing was, there was the uh, this thing. Uh, there was this uh, one branch of the uh, of the uh, bodhi bodhi uh, tree, which is there in Bihar, where Buddha got enlightenment. That was planted here, and that is now a tree. And it is said that all the twenty-four Buddhas, the sorry for the number if I'm mistaken, they have got enlightened under that bodhi tree, right? So it was mentioned, right? I may be wrong in my uh, uh, in my uh, in the facts, but it was so beautiful, all the Buddhas were there, uh, so you can spend some time, explore that place, then there was the great bell, right, all those things were there, so very, very peaceful, so, right, then the, then when I was coming out, there were, you know, uh, 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 holdings or posters on where, uh, of Dhammapada, one individual verses of the Dhammapada, now since I have uh, read the Dhammapada, and uh, uh, I could relate to a lot of the verses, right? That hatred can only be won by love. Uh, it can ne never be won by hatred, right? This is an unalterable law. It was so mentioned. So I could relate because I studied. So that's why I have made the detailed videos on Dhammapada on my uh, channel. Uh, the whole playlist is available. You can check that. And highly advise to read the Dhammapada. So very, very beautiful place, peaceful place is there. Right? So then th that did that. Then what I did was, that uh, in the second half, I tried to call the monasteries. So what is there is that, you know, there are various monasteries. Like there is a Chinese temple, then there is a Japanese temple, then there is a uh, Korean temple, Vietnamese temple. Korean, Vietnamese, I could not touch upon. But Chinese temple, uh, Japanese temple, Buddhist temple, uh, Sri Lankan temple, these these temples I, I, I had, uh, I was able to cover. It was very, very good. 
actually these are temples like uh, is because at that particular like in japanese temple this is japanese art and everything in chinese temple you find chinese art and all so it's basically temples you don't find monks and all much but uh, they are just temples you can go and visit and you know that is there right so so there are many such cambodian monasteries there are many such monasteries that are there i did not cover them fully uh, so that was uh, the second day and in the evening the second day evening now first day when i came i was not aware uh, that uh, there is a chant of the first discourse that happens at 6:30 pm uh, so in the second day in the evening 6:30 pm i got the entry, the temple sarna temple closes at 6 o'clock so i got the entry before uh, like 5:45 i got the entry right and then i stayed back so they say all of the people go because now it's the time for closure of the temple uh, 6:30 pm you if you wait then they what they do the the bhantas they uh, they chant the first discourse which the buddha gave to the disciples in pali right so you can just be there soak in that energy in the temple and the first the the first discourse being recited so it's fantastic see if you can do that right so for that you have to uh, come into the temple at by around 5:45 or something and then you can uh, 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 do do that like 6:30 this uh, thing will happen right so that is that is there i did it on friday as well as saturday saturday also i came and i was early and then i sat there and then 6:30 the chanting happened now the timings are a bit different from i think april to october there is one time like 6:30 or from november i think it is like 6 o'clock or something so that you can check more uh, right so that is around that time so you have to just get, get the entry before that right okay so that was there then then uh, so i attended the evening chanting day 3 saturday what i did was that i planned beforehand so the museum thing was pending because the friday the museum was closed so i had to uh, do the museum thing in the morning so what i did was in the morning 8 o'clock i purchased the i 8 o'clock i landed up at the the mix soup place i purchased the jumbo ticket which is 25 rupees ticket which covers both the uh, the stoop as well as the archaeological museum right so first i went there and i spent the time there uh, uh, at the stoop i meditated now and that was saturday so saturday the problem is that i saw a lot of crowd of people that is coming now in there what the problem is na there is a lot of people who are don't have anything you know any reverence for the buddha and they just come and visit and they create a lot of noise so i was meditating but i my meditation was not that deep because there was a lot of noise you know college going kids had come and you know some people had come from you know maharashtra and they were you know they had nothing to do with you know they were sh- shouting clicking pictures and all so uh, then there was a sri lankan group that had come they were doing the chanting so they were very peacefully they were doing the chanting but then you find all kinds of people who come and then lot of people they just come there to click the pictures and all right for them it is not like meditation and all are not for them so it's better uh, if you do meditation then better not to do at the stoop right better do something with somewhere which is far there is a lot of places to sit there you get a benches also you you will have so uh, find a place which is not very close to the stoop because then there is a lot of traffic of people especially on the weekends saturday sunday right so i did the meditation then i went to the museum and there is a good museum it takes if you want to go the museum uh, visit and properly explore the place it will take you 1 to 1 and a half hours right for me it was some somewhere around 1 hours 20 minutes right that time that much time you need to sp- keep spare right so that you do then i had to just do some work at uh, varanasi so i did that work i i had my food in varanasi uh, near the station at some dhaba right and then i came back again and uh, evening was like again some other things i did some shopping for my family and then uh, evening chant again i attended saturday evening the 6:30 pm chanting so i attended two times the chanting that is uh, that happens two times i attended the chanting and day 4 i had to again my had i had very much planned in my mind that i will i will again go to the hammik stoop and do my meditation and everything but because of some changes in the travel plans i had to take an early morning train so that i reach uh, the the train from which i had to travel back to indore i had to leave 7:30 am in my from my monastery directly to varanasi so i 
I could I missed the the mix to uh, one more meditation round. So that's fine. I did meditation there two times. So that was the uh, my itinerary, my three days stay in Sarnath. Uh, so my plan was actually to share this as well as the learnings. But the learnings video, if I do, it will take twenty minutes more. So this video I will close here. Uh, uh, next video on this channel, I will do the learnings uh, or, or from my Sarnath visit. So if you are a person who who is new, who doesn't know the things, if you are not from India. So I have covered a lot of points that in that video. So watch out for that video. I hope this video was useful, and uh, 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 do make do try and plan your visit to Sarnath. It is a beautiful place, and uh, uh, if you have any comments, thoughts, suggestions, do share in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya.